gonna look good on the truck. Obviously, I would hope they wouldn't do that, uh, but they're already kind of curved up, so it wouldn't be that big deal. But mainly, I don't want someone, one of the techs, hopping in here and doing a 180 and ripping my fenders off because it does still rub at full lock. Reason number two is if y'all are keeping up with the Larry content, I got wheel adapters for Larry. Ordered them about a month and a half ago, so if you're curious how long it takes, as far as my experience, buying them through Custom Offsets from Bora, them custom making them for my specific truck from when I ordered them until I received them was right at a month and a half. So definitely takes quite a while. I want to put these 22 by 12s and the Aturos on Larry for some content and I don't want to just do it like a one day, let me put them on there, rush the video, not have fun with it and everything. I want to be able to put them on there and leave them on there for a while and really film some good content and you know, not even videos related to the wheels and tires, but have them on during that content, you know? actually get to really experience it. It's my stock 18s on tractor tires and I have my stock tires and that's why I put on Instagram I was looking for some wheels. I was just gonna put some wheels on my tires because I have my stock tires. But anyways this deal came up and it was just I just I needed to snag it. So that's the whole reason why I'm doing this for warranty so I can take my truck to the dealership and for um having a setup that I can run while I'm using the other ones on Larry. I've been talking to him. He knew the truck or whatever. He, he recognized it after we'd been talking for a little bit. So he might be on here. He had a silver, I don't know if it was this body style or the previous. It's something some similar to this. And he had it leveled on these wheels and tires that we're getting. Um, don't know what it looks like now. Don't know if he'll be in that truck. But if he is and um, he wants to be on camera or something, then we'll make it happen. And you'll see that in a second. So I guess we'll jump to uh, something. All right, guys, we're over here picking up the wheels and tires. Got Lauren with me, and uh, we just met Heath, real cool guy. We're gonna check out his truck real quick. He's got a 2018 as well. Got these wheels and tires from him. He just got some. Uh, you said there were 17 by uh, nine. 17 by nine Pro Comps and some 305 65 17 uh, Pro Comp Extreme MT2s. And uh, we got a quick exhaust clip through duels with the cherry bomb. See it right there. And uh, yeah, this is a two-wheel drive truck. He's got it leveled up and uh, looks looks clean. He said he's been watching the videos since he got this truck, so that's sick. And I figured I'd get some footage of his truck too. Nice and clean. Not squatted, I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate that. <laughs> but anyways, we'll check out the wheels and tires that I got here in a little bit. Just wanted to get a quick clip, both the trucks look good. All right guys, what well, is the next day, but let's go ahead and check out what we got. So really cool meet up with Heath, his truck was awesome. And I'm really excited about this because I think it's gonna look sick. So boom, we got some stock 18s and some Cooper Discovery AT3 XLT. Uh, obviously they got the old white wall on the outside and uh, they're actually really good looking tires. And if we look at the tread, I mean, they, they still got a lot of tread left on these things. So I was really not even gonna be that picky about what wheels and tires I got. I just needed something to roll on just to go to the dealership and uh, be able to put on here while I'm doing the other wheels and tires swapping around and stuff. And then this popped up and it was just a deal I could not refuse. So super excited about this. I think it's actually gonna look really good on here with a little white lettering on a white truck. I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. 
And these are, you know, pretty good looking factory wheels. Uh, hopefully they ride good, balanced or whatever. I'm not sure. I didn't ask him if they were recently balanced or anything like that. But uh, let's go ahead and get these things unloaded. Maybe stick them up by a truck and give us a little glimpse of what it's going to look like. So like I said, boatload of tread. We'll see. But yeah, they're they're literally a little bit taller than the Atero, so they might actually look really good on here. Obviously, they ain't gonna be sticking out. You know, they got the factory offset, and whatnot. But I think this is gonna be a real popular setup. It's gonna look really good on here. We might rock it on Larry first. So I'm gonna get these things stacked up. Maybe in about a week, if I can hold off that long. They got a pretty busy couple days coming up, but. Hopefully within the week I can get these things on this or Larry or something because if you're like myself, as soon as you get something, I gotta get it on. I gotta see it, I gotta experience it. So I did just wanna mention that there was a lot of positive feedback about putting the 420s on Baby Squat, but there was also a couple of people saying that they wanted to see the 420s on this current setup at this height, but I was really wanting to see it low on the mud tires. So my plan was to drop it, have these still on it, film that, and then swap over to the 420s. I could go ahead and swap the 420s on there before I lower it, but I think it would be a more unique and cool video to make it where it's low on the Aturos. But comment down below which way you'd rather see it. Dang, Dad, these are pretty sweet for real. They're taller than me, what the crap? All right, guys, here with Lauren to finish the video off and wanted to give some thoughts and opinions on the new setup and the 420s because she's not necessarily totally on board with us. So let's start with these bad boys. What do you what do you, what do you think about these? You think it was good buy? You like them? You think they're gonna look good on the truck? Yeah, it's just gonna be basic. Basic. You're right. It's not gonna have any offset, which is it's not gonna look as good. Which she doesn't like machined or the chrome. Cause we're talking about chromes for the baby squat, and she's like she don't like it. No. Which I'm trying to tell her. When we lift it, we need to do chromes and take off some of the black accents, and it would it would look good. Be honest, be honest, like you are behind on the other side of the camera. Don't like it. She doesn't <laughs> like it, which is a you know, at least she's honest about it. But it's a personal preference. yeah, I think these are gonna look good with a white sidewall. He cleaned these jokers up good, yeah, and they look like they're super good, like smooth tread. I think they're gonna ride like really good. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I think I think that was a good buy though. I'm excited. So I think those are gonna go on Larry first once I put the adapters on and then go on baby squat. But now I guess for the 420s, so not feeling lower in the truck. No. Not at all. No. Um but I keep telling her it's gonna look good. It's just gonna it's gonna just gotta get it done and then it's gonna make sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many trucks do you see that look like mine? Tons, right? Tons, all over the place. Leveled, lifted, tons. How many have you seen lowered on some whitish wheels? None. <laughs> One or two and you didn't like them, but they didn't have offset. They all had like the tires were sucked in. And then the next one we're gonna jack it up. Yeah. <laughs> then when, when they have all our fun with this, then we're gonna put that big lift kit on it. And then you're gonna let me do all of it. So you just, let me design all of you it. just sold the entire audience. They are now 100% on board with you. Because that's what they are in all the comments, saying to lift it. Yeah. So. He's going to let me design it. Yeah. Chrome wheels? No. Okay. She's wanting black. Anyways, I think that's about it as far as like these go. So that's why we wanted to come in here at the end of the video and discuss what all is going to be happening. But definitely going to be putting the adapters on Larry here in the next week, hopefully. So hopefully y'all did enjoy. Let me know what you think about these and the future of putting those on the truck with it lowered. And with that being said, we'll catch you in the next one.